Good day! In this video, we are looking at the Numeracy 2022 Pilot Assessment Paper and the paper is called Use Maps and Stats to Meet the Numeracy Demand of a Range of Situations. The paper number is 32406. In this paper, we are there are three outcomes, one, two and three, and you need to get a, a, a sum outcome 1, some outcome 2, and some outcome 3 to be able to pass this paper. It is a unit standard and there's, there's always a achieve or not achieve and it's a total of 10 credit. Without further ado, let's do question 2 in this paper. So question 2 looks like that and I'm going to bring down the paper and we are going to read the question. The question is about Georgia, the main coon. Okay, so Georgia is a main coon kitten. The picture shows her weight being weight. So the scale here is 2.95. So the question is, what measurement will give you her correct weight? So 2.95, so is it 2.95 gram? It is not because it's too light. 2.95 gram is just like a teaspoon of salt. 2.95 ton is also not right because Tons is as heavy as a car, so 2.95, it cannot be 2.95 ton. So, so we go to 2.9250 kilogram is also out because it's too heavy, okay? A human only weighs between 60 to 100 kilogram or maybe 120 kg, but 2950 kilogram is out. So 2.95 have to be 2.95 kg. If you convert kg to gram, it's going to be 2950 gram and that is the answer and that is outcome number one. Let's do outcome number two which is the next question. Okay, outcome number two looks like that. We shall read the question and it's a bit tricky. So we're going to read them together. Okay, so Georgia is fed both dry food and wet food. Okay, using this chart here. Okay, so the square represents the dry food and the seche represents the one seche of wet food. So we know Georgia turned four months old today. So we have to look in this table here because we can ignore this and this because it's four months old. Lana, the cat's owner, goes for the second option for dry and wet food. So he can either take the first option, which is between 69 to 100 gram, or the second option, which is in the, uh, in the tables below, okay? Calculate the amount of dry food and number of seche or white, wet food Georgia ate in the last month. So he'll be in this column because it's four months and last month will be slightly less than four months. So. To look at this, we are simple. The average between 1.5 to 3.6 because Lana, uh, Lana, the cat, no, sorry, uh, Georgia, the cat, he weighs 2.95 kg. So we need to know that 2.95 is somewhere in between here. If we take the average between 1.5 and 3.6, it's 2.55. So Lana is 2.95. So we know that it is slightly more than the average, which is 2.55. So we know that we can calculate them. So the amount of food in one day, 24 hours in one day, is 56 to 87 gram. So the average is 71.5 gram. So as we said before, because uh, Georgia weighs 2.95, which is slightly more than half the, the weight here. So we're going to increase 71.5 to 75 gram. Okay. So we assume that Georgia is eating 75 gram of uh, dry food a day. This is one day. So to calculate the, the amount of dry food, we're going to take 75 gram per day, multiply by 30 days in a month. Okay. And we have calculated that before. And the answer is going to be uh, 2,250 gram. So 2,250 gram. And that will be answer 2,250 gram. Okay. So in fact, the marking schedule said that any number between 1, 5, 6, 8 to 2, 6, 9, 7 gram is acceptable. So we are in between that result and we got it right. So that will be option two. And the second thing we need to calculate the number of wet food sachet. They're going to take half a sachet a day. Okay. So in that category, half sachet a day. So because there are 30 days, so you're going to be half multiplied by 30. And the answer is 15 sachet for the whole month. So in fact, any answers between 14 and 16 
Fetche is acceptable. And again, that is option number two. Great. Now we're going to look at the last question, which is option number three. We shall read the question together. So Lana, the owner, weighs Georgia every month and record the data on the graph. So the 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 top line is the average female and the dotted line is Georgia's weight. So at four months, Georgia is below average. So at 12 months, it will be here, around here, 5 kg, okay? Georgia will be there. So we agree with Lana prediction. So Lana predict that Georgia will be around 5 k kilograms. So will be here, okay? When she turns one year old. Is Lana's prediction reasonable? Explain your answer using the information on the graph. So we will agree with Lana's prediction. Why? Because at four months old, Georgia is below average, and in twelve months old, in one year at, at one year old, it'll be five. It's also going to be below the average of all the cats. So we agree that Lana's prediction is correct, and if you can answer that. That is. The correct answer for option three. So the first question is option one, second question is option two, and part C is option three. So hopefully you understand this question and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you watch question three of this paper in the next video. Cheers everyone and have a good day.